Hey everyone, it's Susan and I am back with a slightly different video. This is going to be a comparison video on my Montane GM versus um, the Speedy 30 and the Speedy 35. Um, I've had some questions on how the Montane compares to the Speedy um, handbags. So I'm going to do that video and hopefully I do not confuse you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do this. This is, uh, this is going to be a hard one because I'm comparing three bags. But hopefully you guys will um, get the gist of, you know, what the Montane GM compares to. So here is the Montane GM in the color noir. Um, which, you know, um, I'm not going to compare the interior of the handbag um, on the Montane versus the Speedy because it's not comparable. <laughs> so you can see there's so many compartments in the Montane GM versus the Speedies. The Speedies only have one compartment on the interior of, on the interior of the handbag and it also has a D-ring. The Montane has so many compartments so it just doesn't compare. But I will be comparing the exterior of the handbags because that's what uh, mainly everyone wants to know what the Montane uh, compares to. So I'll first start, start off with the measurements of the Montane. The um, height of the Montane is 11 and a quarter inches in height, um, 13 and a half inches in length, and seven and seven inches in um, in depth. So that's the measurements for the Montane. Now I'll go ahead and give you the measurements for the uh, Speedy 35. The Speedy 35 uh, measures in height is 10 inches in height, 14 inches in length, and seven and a half inches in depth. So you can already tell that compared to the Montane and the Speedy 30, that the Montane is um, about a little over an inch more in height compared to the Speedy 35. As far as the depth, the Montane GM is seven inches compared to the Speedy 35, which is a half, seven and a half inches. So it's the Speedy 35 is half an inch um, more in depth than the Montane. So that is that on the uh, Speedy 35. Now I will compare it to the Speedy 30. And this one is the Speedy 30 in the Dame Azor, I mean the Dame Ben. And this is the uh, Bandelier one. So it's the Speedy B 30. So um, the measurements on the Speedy 30 is the height of the bag is 10 inches in height, 11.8 inches in length, and then the depth of the bag is 7 inches in depth. So um, compared to the Montane GM, they are the same in depth, so they are both seven inches in depth at the um, the widest part of the uh, Montane. So that's how they compare there. But as far as everything else, the length, you can see it really doesn't compare. The Montane is 13 and a half inches in length, and the Speedy 30 is 11, a little bit over 11 inches in length. So the Montane is about two inches um, longer than the Speedy 30. So that is that on those bags. So I would compare, they are alike in depth. They're both seven inches in depth, the Speedy 30 and, this, and the Montane GM. Now the um, Montane GM and the Speedy 35, the um, Speedy 35 is half an inch more in depth versus the seven inches on the Montane GM. The length, so you can see them here. The Montane is 13 and a half inches in length versus 14 inches in length for the Speedy 35. So the Speedy 35 is a half an inch longer than the Montane GM. Also the height, the uh, Montane GM is 11 and a quarter inches in height and versus 10 inches in height in the um, Speedy 35. 
So you can see that the Montaigne GM has a lot more height than the um, Speedy 35 does. So um, that is pretty much it on the bags. Um, I know it was a quick video, um, but like I said, you can't really compare the interior of the handbag because um, there's just no comparison. Um, as you can see, uh, it is completely just one big hole. <laughs> So just, um, that's it. There's no compartments. The only compartment it has is this one pouch. Um, so it doesn't really do much as far as, you know, being able to organize your things in the handbag. It is a gorgeous bag, don't get me wrong, but there is no structure in this bag. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. All of a sudden I feel like sneezing. Um, so there's, uh, you know, no structure to the bag, um, versus the Montaigne, it has some structure, so it's not going to fall. It's not going to collapse or anything, but the Montaigne has so many compartments in the bag. So it is a very, um, well-organized handbag. I mean, you can organize your things in there and not worried about them getting all jumbled up in here versus the Speedy 35. You just have to be, you know, you can't be, really be organized in the handbag. Now, you can buy a um, purse organizer uh, for the for the Speedies, and that'll give you some more organization, more compartments to put things in, so that way everything won't just be floating around in the handbag, and it'll be a little bit more organized. But um, So that's what you can do for a, as a solution for this, the Speedies. But the Montaigne, you don't have to do that because it has so many compartments in the bag. And, but it is a much more expensive handbag. Now, the price comparisons, I will let you know that the Speedy 35 is just the original Speedy. Um, if you go with the Speedy 30, it is $970. If you go with the Speedy 35, it is um, $990. If you go with the um, Bandelier style, the Speedy 30 is $1,390. And if you go to, with the Bandelier in the size 35, it is $1,410. Now compare the Speedies in price to the Montaigne, there really is no comparison because this one here is $3,500. Now there, um, I heard that there was supposed to be a price increase, but I don't think that has hit yet. It is now March 2nd and I did go on Louis Vuitton's website and I have not seen a price increase as of yet. So who knows? Um, I did hear um, in the Louis Vuitton boutique that it was supposed to go up in price in March 1st on March 1st and it's it has not yet so anyway guys um, I hope this comparison video helps some of you out there if there's something that I didn't cover please don't hesitate to um, ask me in the comments below um thank you so much for subscribing thanks so much for supporting my channel um, if you haven't already subscribed and if you you would like to see more videos um, like this one or hauls or anything just uh, go ahead and subscribe it is free so anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on another video. Oh, um, my next video will probably be um, on the, uh, another video on the Montaigne GM. I will be doing a more in-depth review on the handbag and also um, a what fits inside of it um, or what I will be um, carrying in my Montaigne GM um, and a more in-depth review on this handbag because I am just... I can't wait to use it. Right now, I am currently using my Speedy B35, and I absolutely, absolutely love this handbag. I am so glad that I got it back in my collection, and so glad that I chose it in the bandolier style because the strap really does come in handy. I do carry it normally like this or in my hand, and the strap, when you're in a pinch and you need to be hands-free, it does come in handy. Um, I know the price difference is you know, it's a, it's a huge uh, price difference between the Speedy B and the Speedy, the original Speedy. Um, it's probably, let me see, uh, it, it's about $300 price difference. So that is a lot of money, but 
you know, it is an investment. I guess you can say that. I don't know. Maybe I can't. But in the long run, it just comes down to um, what you want in a handbag and, um, you know, what will make your life easier because you don't want to get something that you're uncomfortable with. If you're not a, a, um, a handle, a top handle person that can carry their hand, their, their bag and has to have their back, their hand, their bag on their hand, um, you know, the entire time, you know, if you're one of those that's able to, then, you know, this will be a great bag for you. But if you have to be hands-free, um, most of the time, if you have kids, especially you will really benefit from the strap. So anyway, that is it. Um, as I mentioned, I hope this video, uh, um, has helped many of you out there. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.